Hey y'all. Hey y'all. It is Arkansas ASMR back with another video. Let us, um, so I'm getting ready for bed and let's, let us dim the light. No, I turned it up. Hold on. No, hold on. There. I thought it was going to look so much cooler. Okay, let's dim the light a little bit, okay? Let's get ready for bed. We could talk about each other's day. Well, I'll talk about my day, and you can tell me below. Alright, so I'm all in bed. Um, so, it's been a very busy week. I went to uh, six different museums. One was just a historical site, but I still cite it as a museum, as, as I was telling people. Uh, <laughs> when I was telling people, like when I went back to work, and they're like, how was it? And I was like, oh, it was great. And we went to, the, I was in Missouri, Kansas City. I've never been there. Um, don't know much about Missouri, honestly. <laughs> um, but other than Truman, I know about President Truman, I read his biography. So we went to Kansas City and we accidentally went to the World War One Museum on the day of, I think it was the third day of the NFL draft. And I don't know, I'm going to be honest, you know, football wasn't a big thing in my school and it's big in the South, but like my family specifically and my friend group, we never were interested in football. Maybe one liked certain players, but we didn't know anything. And my father never knew anything like, and my husband, when he was here, um, he didn't, you know, we just don't know anything about football. We've just never watched it. So I was so confused <laughs> and people were so nice. And I'm like, oh, I'm here for the museum. You know, it's just, I had to go through some checkpoints and everyone was so nice. And we were in a sea of like jerseys for different teams. I didn't even know, like <laughs> I knew the Steelers. Like, I knew where they were based, because I stayed at Airbnb, and um, there were some Steeler fans there, and I was like, Pittsburgh. And they're like, yeah, we're not from, you know, Pittsburgh, but yes, that's where it's based. So, <laughs> uh, it was very funny. So, that was the first one. I went to Truman Presidential Library, which was probably my favorite presidential library I've been to thus far. Um, Truman's Birth Home and Lamar. Um, what else we did? I did, um, the, his home he shared with his wife. It was his wife's, um, grandfather actually built the primary part of the residence. He was from 18, I think he originally built it in, um, I swear it was either 1864 or 1854, but I feel like 1864 wasn't right. And it's kind of was like three homes mashed together almost because of how the add-ons were put. And the President of the Library was fantastic. Um, Independence, Missouri. Also in Independence, Missouri was the Vale Mansion. It was beautiful 1880s Victorian home by the Vale family. It was just a couple. And he was probably, as it was said, he was probably the wealthiest man in Missouri at that time. He had like seven different marble um, fireplaces throughout the home. And yeah, I just gravitate towards historical things and hiking. I don't know. That's how my family has always been. Like my dad would bring us, like I remember on a spring break, I think, I think, I don't even spring break, just weekends. Um, I remember going to museums and one of, I remember went to a different mines and these mining museums are like caves and uh, I remember this kid went to like Disney World or Land or something and I was like I've never been to Disney I didn't go to Disney until I went once and I was 17 years old and it was for high school and I went because my friends wanted to go that was just parks were never a thing it was with my family it was history and it was walking around stores sometimes like window shopping but, um, for the most part, sorry, I just climbed. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm missing my husband. 
um, just a busy, busy work week, um, good week. I've been planning stuff for YouTube, but it's just been so busy that I've not gotten around to it. And my Wi-Fi is so bad, it will take entire day to upload a 10 minute video. So I try to go to the town over um, and actually tomorrow I'm going to town for a festival. It's a festival specifically. It's named after some kind of jam I've never had and it's going to rain, but I'm going because there's supposed to be a mac and cheese cook-off and I want mac and cheese. You know, if it's raining, I don't know how much the mac and cheese will be there. My father-in-law might bring his antique cars. He's a, he, I mean, my brother-in-law him builds cars from the ground up. Like I've seen them drag things out of the dirt in like a Louisiana farm and make it a beautiful piece of art, especially Mustangs. So I don't know if they're gonna do that. And um, they're really talented with that, but I'm really interested in the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I haven't had macaroni and cheese in a while. You know, when you're by yourself and you're so used to cooking for two or more, I don't know, I just don't eat as much as I normally would or cook as much as I normally would, buy as much as I normally would. Obviously, you know, you're just by yourself. Um, I have the animals. They're great, of course. So they're lovely and I'm seeing a friend tomorrow at this little festival. Um, it's, it's just been a good week. Um, busy. <laughs> a lot of work, but, um, the Missouri thing was cool. I went to, oh, I went to um, Branson. Never been to Branson, Missouri. I know it's really close. I know it's like every Arkansan has been there. I never did. Um, I'm not born here. I live here. But um, so I went to Branson. We went to the Titanic Museum because I know it's for shows. I know it's big on shows. My grandma was like, you didn't go to a show? I was like, no, I didn't go to a show. I went to a Titanic Museum because I wanted to hit many museums as possible <laughs> in a short span of time, specifically kind of like eight, 19 teens to Cold War was kind of what I was interested in concentrating on with my museum, you know, going to different museums. I'll, I'll do this. My husband especially we will do this together. We want to do a big Europe one next year, especially I want to take him to Poland and um, show him well, like, I honestly bring and go with my mom and we all go to Poland. There's a lot, so much history there, even personal history. Um, he's never been to Europe. He's only been, he's been out of, he's been to Middle East a lot. <laughs> so that's really it, is, is deployments. Um, and Guatemala for another mission for the military. So, yeah, um, I'm, we're both big on that. So this was, this was nice just to do, and um, I'd like to go to another one in Vermont in July, I think. I want to go to Boston. Um, my dad and I, I think my dad, over my birthday, and my dad's birthday is right by each other, so I want to fly out to them. We will go to Vermont and Boston, and then at my friend's wedding which is way up north, so I could probably hit some museums then, too, because it's a very historical city. Um, she moved to Philly, so I would, I've been there, but I feel like I could hit a lot of stuff, historical stuff there that maybe I haven't yet. Um, so that would be awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, my dad's really big. Like, I live near a museum. I've only gone so many times, to be honest, because you can only go so many times um, before you kind of know. But I'll go back for like the rotating experience. So yeah, that's been majority of the last week was the Missouri thing and driving. Um, drive was real nice, real fun. I love the mountains. I want to live up in the mountains. Um, I used to live near mountains, but I don't anymore. But it did really make me reflect on how much I love where I live and how I'm not a city person. I, like, I visited New York so many times and I grew up near city. Like, I, I feel like I can navigate, but I've become so accustomed to this way of life that I don't want to go back. So, 
even just sitting there being I was like, man, I'm not used to these sounds, you know, it is quiet, all you can hear is like the dog sighing over there, <laughs> um, I don't know why he sighs like he works a full-time job, I don't know, he just let out a big sigh, so, uh, it's just so quiet, and I got so accustomed to it, you know, and I don't even live near any factories, anything like that. I think there's a highway, but it, I never hear it. Um, yeah, it is very quiet. It's very nice. It gets really dark around here too because of less light pollution, I think. So it's really nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm just getting ready for bed. Um, I'm a really early sleeper, but I did accidentally nap today because, I don't know, I, I, I had... Oh, my voice. <clears throat> Let me have water. So, I accidentally went into a food coma. I had like a big lunch. I made myself some stir fry. And, because I was like, I'm going to make myself a real meal. Instead of eating just watermelon, which I've been eating all the time. I mean, we have some great watermelon here. It's like a watermelon festival. Mm, kind of far from here. People say I swallow really loud, so I try not to drink in front of people <laughs> or like on camera because I don't want to bother anybody. So yeah, I hope the lighting's okay. I just realized <laughs> I have a candle. I was trying to set the mood in here. I was like, I'm gonna talk to the nice people that um the wonderful people on YouTube and just kind of ramble i am working on things i wrote out a little thing because i want to do like a typing i have, some, I have laptops that i can use and um a typing kind of what's it a session kind of role play i think that's what was suggested history i really gotta do a history lesson i've been wanting to do honestly i learned so much i could, I could do something about truman very easily because of how much i learned I could probably remember most of it. Honestly, I remember his birth date. <laughs> and um, his wedding day is my birthday. I do remember. I, I, that one I actually knew prior to going in. And I took a picture on the front porch. Like his, him and his wife had on their little front porch. Um, yeah, so I could do that. World War One. I actually just watched a documentary last night about World War One. I've never seen before. It was We Never Grow Old, something like that. It was like a colorized film of World War One, with um, some words over it, some dialogue of people who actually went through certain things, specifically British. Um, uh, and it really concentrated on, which was a big part, uh, uh, trench warfare and the experiences of the men there and just the reaction to veterans after they returned and how it wasn't very positive so i could do world war one I, I could do truman very easily both of those easily victorian time i mean i didn't go i grew up in a victorian town and i love victorian history um and there's actually some victorian elements where i live now Mostly in the town over where I go for, like, stronger Wi-Fi, <laughs> to be honest, where I'll go tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, it was, I suppose how prevalent it was in Missouri. So that was really cool. It was very well preserved. And I could definitely talk about that. Just way of life. Like, I really like the intricacies of Victorian life. Or I wouldn't want to live, you know, like, I think there... I think I've heard people say like, oh, I wish it was, like, I wish I could wear, I wish it was like Victorian era or the 40s. And I was like, well, I don't want to go back there, but the aesthetics, yes, like I love certain aesthetics of certain eras, you know, and I'm not trying to <laughs> go back there um, to live. I love my, li you know, the era we're living now, despite all its hardships, uh, like Victorian just detail and like for example the mansion I went to 
Um, the etiquette was very interesting. I loved seeing the furniture. There was um, a, a courting chair, so it was divided. So one is facing this way and one is facing that way. Like that. So a man can sit facing the opposite and a woman is facing that way. So they can speak to each other, but they are you're not supposed to sit beside each other. And even the door hinges. The door hinges had very intricate detail work on them and everything was expensive and it looked, it was supposed to look expensive. This man specifically, Herbert Vale, maybe was his first name. He wanted everything to look as expensive as possible. So large chandeliers, very ornate chandeliers. And at that time, major and I've actually seen this in Arkansas as well in historic houses, um, the lighting was all natural gas set up, so that's actually, it was very predominant in that town. Uh, I noticed when we went to different museums, and even uh, if it was, it didn't, it was strange. So, for example, I think like a mahogany, right, like a beautiful wood, it was actually less expensive than pine painted to look like a mahogany, like different wood. So he did the option, he did the opposite, he did the pine. So the different parts of the house, a lot of it was pine, but it was because it was more expensive to paint it to, as a faux wood to look like something else. I've seen a lot of faux painting, especially in Arkansas. If you go to the um, old Confederate capital of Arkansas, which is all Washington, Arkansas, you see a lot of faux, and it's really not even faux, you see some faux wood, but you see a lot of faux marble. Uh, because it just, it wasn't, now this guy had real marble, this veil guy, but you'll see a lot of faux marble, um, you know, like wooden pillars or even fireplaces, um, that aren't marble, but they're painted to look like marble, um, especially in government houses, like, especially in Toronto, Arkansas, you couldn't be getting all this, you know, big, expensive, beautiful marble, um, for government buildings, so, territorial buildings, so. So it's quiet. So, so anyway, I can ramble on and on. Uh, Arkansas history, World War One, even World War Two. It's just World War Two. I know is very common, um, very popular topic. I should say. Uh, I've been to a couple really intense World War Two um, era kind of museums and um, Holocaust kind of things in Europe, and I took courses on the Holocaust in both World Wars and. Even like smaller things, like in World War One during the um, Armenian Genocide, things that I feel like people don't talk a lot about. Like I, I'm surprised there's not like more movies and things about some huge eras, or like the Katyn massacre, the Katyn massacre in Poland. I wrote a whole paper on it because it wasn't. I was like, why is this? I don't know. I feel like I could be biased because Poland, but I don't know. I was like, we should, you know. I feel like they make so many movies about World War Two, I was like, why don't you put Katyn in there? World War One Armenia. But anyway, I'm at, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm at 18. Okay, so that was my ramble um, before bed. I just kind of want to catch you guys up, um, but I didn't have time for like a planned thing today. I like, I don't know, it, it's been busy. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to upload this because I'll go to town to get the, like, because their service is so much better out there. So, yeah, and I pay for service, but it just doesn't work. So, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so, so much um, for hanging in there. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't upload for a whole week. I don't have a schedule right now. I will eventually. Um, but this week was unusually busy. It's usually really not like this. brought to Missouri. Too late. It was so loud. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, love you guys. Thank you so much for the new, f like, I I'm noticing new followers. I was like, oh my gosh. I thought I was, you know, like 600. I was like, 680. That's, that's new. So, um, yep. So, if you're from Poland, if you're from America, if you're from wherever, um, you know, thank you, Jinglio. 
I will have to do more Polish videos because I'm noticing more, you know, Poles following me. And, um, I showed my mom my video. I was like, it's so cringy. She's like, no, you did <laughs> You know, so I will have to practice and get on that as well. Thank y'all so much. Tell me how your week's been. Tell me if you're a big history person. Tell me anything you like. I really like um, reading comments. I really do. Like, I'll check my YouTube even if there's no notifications. I'm like, anyone leave a comment? Because there's just such nice people on here. So, thank you. It's already past 20 minutes. I thought this was going to be nine. Oh, well. <laughs> thank you.